Many apps like to give their customer base a trial when they sign up, specifically if it's around perhaps a SaaS product. It's something that we've done in the past as well. So let's look at the scenario of signing someone up, scheduling an email to let them know that their trial is up uh, within seven days. We would let them know on the sixth day that on the seventh day they're going to be downgraded. So let's explore how to schedule an email and work with this schedule ID to perhaps cancel it if we need to. So we've got a simple page here just to sign someone up, but let's explore the workflow first. Okay, so what we're going to do is sign someone up. Okay, I've attached the input emails value and the password value. I've created this user field called a trial, which is yes, because what we need to do is give them a trial and then change that yes Boolean to a no Boolean after a certain amount of time if they don't uh, upgrade their account, okay? Then we're going to schedule an API workflow. We're going to go through these in a second. The first will be to send them an email in six days time. That email will then say, hey, Greg, tomorrow or within 24 hours, you will be downgraded. Your trial is up, so please upgrade yourself. Okay, and obviously we're sending the current user through. Then I have a second API workflow, which will run in seven days, which will downgrade them from trial is yes to trial is no. Okay, now the key thing here is to save the result of step two and the result of step three to the current user. So I've created two new fields. Let's head over to these user fields. Here they are down here. Trial email ID, which is just a text, and trial plan ID, which is just text. And we're going to save the ID of the scheduled flow because there's no good just being able to schedule something without being able to cancel it, right? So sign the user up, schedule an email, send through the user data, schedule another workflow, API workflow called downgrade and then save the result of step two to trial email ID. And then the result of step three to the trial plan ID, which is, this is the plan related API workflow. Now in the settings area, if you don't see your backend workflows at the bottom here in this drop down, just enable it here from enable workflow API and backend workflows. Okay, just enable it there. Don't enable the anything else, just that checkbox. That then gives you this option. So in this option, I've added two endpoints. Ignore that, that's for a different tutorial. I've got downgrade and send trial email. Very basically, I've created a key called a user and that's type user because that's because we're receiving a current user from the front end. Okay, we're now on the back end. And then very simply, we just send an email. So you can use SendGrid or Mailgun or anything you like, but the main thing is that we're sending it to the user's email. Okay, the user is this key that I've set up that's been fed the current user from that page that's been pushed through here and I've entered it, connected it to the user's email here. Okay, and I've just said that your trial expires in 24 hours. Uh, hey, Greg, your trial expires in 24 hours. Please upgrade your account. Thanks, Bill Camp. Naturally, there'll be a button. Perhaps this would be more rich text that they can interact with it. Then that would take them to a page where they can upgrade. And it's at that stage that when they do upgrade, that they would actually cancel the API workflow um, of the downgrade scheduled workflow, which we're going to create soon. Okay. But let's have a look at this downgrade workflow. So we feed the user through. Here's a key user, which is a user. And then we make changes to a user. Okay, thing to change would be trial equals no. So when they sign up, trial equals yes. All the features are enabled. But then after a certain amount of time, which will be seven days, this endpoint will run because it will be a scheduled endpoint. So it's queued up for seven days. Then it runs on that user and changes trial to no. Could be canceled though. If they do upgrade in time, then you can obviously run a workflow to cancel that ID, which is why we save it to the user. Okay, this isn't <laughs> gelling for you quite so clearly. Let's go ahead and run this. 
And when you sign, sign up as a random person, there it is there, Caleb. Uh, let's sign up. Okay, so let's run. How do I know it's run? Because in the data area, I have a new user. Here they are here, that's Caleb. Let's inspect this information. So I have trial is yes. I have the email ID is 209 and the trial plan ID is 210. Now, where do these live, these scheduled workflows? How do I know what this even is? Well, first of all, I made sure that I labeled these inputs correctly. Sorry, these, um, these fields. But if I go to the log section, I head over to the schedule and I click show. Here you'll see that on May the 11th at 3.27 p.m., here's the ID 209. This API is going to run on this user, okay? Caleb Wood at example.com. So I can actually click here and this will take me back to that API event. Here it is here. So this is going to run on that particular date. And then on May the 12th, 210 ID on Caleb Wood is going to run. This is the event. So on the 12th, the user is going to be downgraded to trial equals no. So that's why these IDs are super important because it enables us to cancel certain scheduled workflows from, from running. So all we need to do is point to Caleb the user in one of our workflows and run the workflow that says cancel scheduled workflow. So here it is, cancel a scheduled API workflow. Okay, so we just need to give it an ID because every single workflow that's scheduled all has a unique ID, 209, 210, and they're sequential. So at that stage, we would just say the users and wherever we saved it to, we saved it to a field on the user called the trial plan ID. So if this step is run anywhere in your app, maybe you're going to add in the dashboard, but possibly where it's automated. So if Caleb signs up for premium plan, end that workflow by canceling Caleb's trial plan ID, the schedule API workflow. Okay, and if all else fails, you can just hop over here and either cancel all, pause the tasks, or just cancel them individually as well. So scheduling API workflows and canceling these workflows is something that we at BuildCamp uh, run all the time. We have thousands and thousands of these things running in the background, performing all sorts of tasks for us, sending creating notifications, sending automated emails, changing data, depending on if a user, depending on how a user interacts with our app. So become comfortable with it because it will really enable you to create a super rich experience for your user.